This is Dr. Jez Rowie, Chief of Sports Medicine at NYU Hospital for Joint Diseases. We're going to present our technique for arthroscopic suprascapular nerve release. The patient is a 49-year-old female with a right shoulder traction injury. Previous shoulder and cervical spine MRIs were negative. EMG showed traction-related injury of the suprascapular nerve at the suprascapular notch with compression at that level. She continued to have pain after PT. She was indicated for operative release. We utilized the beach chair position and basically five portals. The standard posterior portal is used for glenohumeral visualization. We use a lateral subacromial portal for visualization. The anterior lateral portal for instrumentation and shaving. The Navisier portal is used to transect the ligament, and the suprascapular nerve portal is used to aid in visualization of the nerve and the transverse scapular ligament. We utilize the standard posterior portal for intraarticular inspection, and once this is complete, the scope is then placed into the subacromial space through a lateral portal, and then a shaver is placed in the anterior lateral portal, and a bursectomy is performed. This is done to allow visualization of the CA ligament or the coracochromial ligament. Once the coracochromial ligament is identified, it is then traced to the base of the coracoid. This is key. It can often be difficult when there's previous surgery, but it's usually always there. This will then lead you to identify the uh, coracoclavicular ligaments. And once this is identified, that leads you to the base of the coracoid. Once the base of the coracoid is identified, we place a trocar in the suprascapular nerve portal, and this will allow dissection to help us find the suprascapular nerve and the transverse scapular ligament, as is seen here. And then once this is uh, done, you can also see in this picture the suprascapular artery. At this point, scissors are placed in the navisier portal, and with the trocar in the suprascapular nerve portal to protect the nerve, the ligament is incised and visualize, visualized here is the transected transverse scapular ligament and uh, you can see here that the nerve is free. Here's the patient and the arthroscopic video. The conoid ligament is identified. The scope is in the lateral subacromial portal and the trocar is in the anterior lateral portal. The supraspinase tendon is visualized to the left. And the coracoid tip is visualized here with the CA ligament inserting. At this point, we're pushing the scope posterior immediately. The scope is then withdrawn and again visualizes the CA ligament and the coracoid. The acromion and the coracoid are visualized here. The scope is then pushed posterior immediately, again is seeing the conoid ligament and we trace this down to the base of the coracoid. Supraspinatus is visualized to the left. And again, we push the scope posterior immediately to begin to visualize the base of the coracoid. Trocar is again placed in the anterolateral portal, base of the coracoid, conoid ligament, and the trocar is in the suprascapular nerve portal. This aids in uh, visualization of the base of the coracoid, again, the conoid ligament. And we continue to use the trocar in the suprascapular nerve portal to sweep, to visualize the base of the coracoid. This will then lead us to the transverse scapular ligament. Again, the, uh, the trocar is in the suprascapular nerve portal and this is allows us to continue to sweep and the artery is beginning to come into visualization. Again, there is the transverse scapular ligament and the artery is running above it. At this point, the AC joint is visualized. And the CC ligaments are seen in the background. These are branches of the suprascapular artery. 
And again, the scope is in the posterior medial aspect of the shoulder. Again, uh, further branches of the suprascapular artery, and then the transverse scapular ligament comes into view right below the suprascapular artery. Again, visualize the suprascapular artery. The trochar, again, in the suprascapular nerve portal, visualizing, again, the transverse scapular ligament and the artery running above it. Again, the trocar is used to sweep any of the bursal tissue that may be blocking visualization. A shaver is inserted through the anterior lateral portal. Again, this, it's a right shoulder with a scope in the lateral subacromial portal. The artery again is seen above the transverse scapular ligament. The trocar is, is being utilized here to further dissect the suprascapular nerve in the posteromedial aspect of the shoulder prior to it passing under the transverse scapular ligament. As we move the scope out, you can see the nerve diving under the transverse scapular ligament with the artery above. The trocar continues to dissect the nerve out. Again, further visualization of the nerve and the artery, with the artery clearly passing above the transverse scapular ligament. The uh, trocar is utilized to protect the nerve. And at this point, we are preparing to incise the uh, transverse scapular ligament. A probe is placed in the anterior lateral portal. And this is utilized to uh, both confirm that the, uh, there's space under the transverse scapular ligament to insert the scissor punch for transection of the, the uh, ligament and also that there's adequate room for protection of the nerve. Again, the trocar protecting the nerve and the transverse scapular ligament with a probe placed underneath it. At this point through Nevisier's portal, a scissor punch is placed and towards the lateral aspect of the notch, we begin incising the transverse scapular ligament. The trocar again is protecting the nerve and pushing it medially. And we continue to incise the uh, transverse scapular ligament through Nevisier's portal. Here's the transected ligament. And then we, uh, using the trocar, we begin visualization of the nerve. The artery is visualized at the top of the screen. And further dissection confirms that the nerve has not been injured. And we trace it both medial to the trans transverse scapular notch as well as lateral to it, making certain that it's free. And again, here's the nerve again at the base of the notch. Demonstrating that it's free. We have not found it necessary to perform a neuroplasty. And again, further dissection with the trocar in the suprascapular nerve portal, confirming that the nerve has not been injured. Postoperatively, the patient is placed into a sling for the first week. Physical therapy is begun within the first week as well with no major restrictions on range of motion. 
I want to thank you for allowing us to show you our technique here at uh, NYU Hospital for Joint Diseases.